His mother was ugly. His father was ugly. But Shrek was uglier than the two of them put together. By the time he toddled, Shrek could spit a flame full of 99 yards and vent smoke from either ear. With just cowed. a look, he cowed the reptiles in the swamp. Any snake dumb enough to bite him instantly got convulsions and died. One day, Shrek's parents hissed over things and decided it was about time their little darling was out in the world doing his share of damage. It's time that Shrek should be on his own. Yes, dear, I suppose you're right. So they kicked him goodbye and Shrek left the black hole which he'd been hatched. Shrek went slogging along the road, giving off his awful fumes. It delighted him to see the flowers bend aside and the trees lean away to let him go, go by. In the shady copse, he came upon a witch. She was busily boiling bats in turpentine and turtle juice. As she stirred the crew, she crooned, This, this is the way, the way I, cook, I my cook my bats, stir my bats, taste my bats, season my bats in the morning, brew and brew, brew and chew my bats, fiddle and fiddle and fiddle my bats. Early in the morning. Oh, what a lovely stench. Shrek cackled. The witch specialized in horrors. One single look as Shrek made her woozy. When she recovered her senses, Shrek said, Tell my fortune, madam, and I'll give you a few of my uh, real life. Splendid, crowed the red witch. Uh, here's your fortune. Ochi pochi itchy pitch. Pay attention to this witch. A donkey takes you to a knight. Him you conquer in a fight. Next then time. you get the princess who is even uglier than you. Ha ha ha! do do The magic words are out, true. A princess? Ooh, I'll be on my way. Soon he came upon a peasant singing and sighing. You yeah. there, Violet, said Shrek. Why so blithe? Peasant mumbled this reply. I'm happy sighing in the rock. I'll never stop to wonder why. I'll hone and sigh until I die. <sighs> but now I'm busy, so goodbye. Yoko! Oh, Shrek snapped. What have you got in that pouch of yours? Get some cold pheasant. Pheasant, peasant? What a lovely present. <gasps> the last thing that the peasant saw before he fainted was Shrek's glare, warming up his dinner. Shrek ate <coughs> and moved on. Wherever Shrek went, every living creature fled. <laughs> How it tickled him to be so repulsive. Fat raindrops began sizzling on Shrek's hot knob. Have you ever seen somebody so disgusting? Said lightning to thunder. Never, thunder growled. Let's give him the works. Yeah. Lightning fired his fiercest bolt at Shrek's head. <laughs> oh. Shrek just gobbled it and grinned. Lightning, thunder, and rain departed. In high spirits, Shrek stalked on. At the end, at the edge of the woods, he found this warning nailed to a tree. Shrek, of 
course swaggered right past. And sure enough, a little way into the woods, and a whopper of a dragon barred his path. Shrek smiled and bowed. The dragon slammed him into the ground, but Shrek just laid there. He was amused. The irascible dragon was preparing to separate Shrek from his noggin. But Shrek got him between the eyes with a putrid blue flame. The poor dragon thudded over, unconscious for the day. An hour later, Shrek himself was unconscious. He had fallen asleep along the way. He dreamed he was in a field of flowers where children frockling and birds warbled. Some of the children kept bugging him and kissing him, and there was nothing he could do to make them stop. Hi, Shrek. I have a limited edition lip smack before you. Um, I bought you some fr flowers, Shrek. I hope you like them. Hey, Shrek, I got this delicious pineapple. You want it? Oh, my God. I love your shirt. Where did she get it? Hey, Shrek, you look nice today. You want to pet Crystal? Hey, Shrek, this is a tweet you could give Crystal. Hey, Shrek, where did you get your shirt from? Is it a good store? Here you go, Shrek. I, I love you. I love you, Shrek. He woke up in a daze, babbling like a baby. It was only a bad dream. A bad dream. A horrible dream. Shrek wandered on. He was wondering if he'll ever miss meet his princess. When he saw a donkey grazing, was this the donkey the witch had foretold? Shrek hurried over and tried the magic words. Is that what I think it is? Apple strudel! The donkey raised his eyes and brayed. I gaze in the green. As I graze in the green. Looking at the clover, I always and uh, spend my days in the green. A chewing, chomping boover. You jabbering donkey, Shrek screamed. Aren't you supposed to take me somewhere? I am. To the nutty night. To guard the entrance to the crazy castle where the repulsive princess waits. Then take me there. Come on. Shrek shrieked. And he hopped onto the donkey's back. They soon came to a drawbridge where a suit of armor stood. Shrek knocked on the breastplate and demanded, Who dwells inside this armor? And also in yonder castle. In here, a fearless knight. In there, a well-worn fright. It's my princess, the one I to wed. Yeah, over my dead body. Over your dead body, then. Shrek agreed. Not so brave, thou churlish knave. You have the honor to step aside so Shrek can go and meet his bride. Shrek commanded. Magician's Mercury. Plumber's lead. Smite your stupid, scabby head. And the knight smoked. Popped his eyes, opened his trap, and bellowed a blast of fire. The knight, red hot, dove into the back window. With a nasty snore of triumph, Shrek crossed the bridge and marched into the castle. And there, for his first time ever, he found what fear was. All around him were hundreds of hideous creatures. He was so appalled, he barely managed to spit a flame. All those horrid others spat back. He started to run, they all ran. He lashed out the nearest one, but what he struck was blast. Shrek was in the Hall of Mirrors. They're all me! He, he yodeled. He faced himself, full of rabid self-esteem, happier than ever to be exactly what he was. They're all me! He rode on in, and his fat lips fell open. There before him was the most suddenly ugly princess on the surface of the planet. 
Apple strudel. Shrek slide. Cockle doodle do. <laughs> Princess. Ed Shrek. Your horny words and rosy wings like slimy bogs and fusty fins thrill me. Said the princess, your lumpy nose, your pointy head, your wicked eyes, so livid red, just kill me. Said Shrek, oh, ghastly you, with lips of blue, your ruddy eyes, with carmine stars, enchant me. I could go on, I know you know the reason why I love you, you're so ugly. Said the princess, your nose is so hairy, a lettuce not hairy. You, you're looking so scary, I think we should marry. Shrek snapped at her nose, she nipped at his ear, they clawed their way into, the, into each other's arm. Like fire and smoke, these two belong together. So they got hitched as soon as possible. We're here to celebrate Shrek and the princess's wedding. Shrek, do you take the princess through slimy blobs and stinky feet? Do you, princess, take Shrek through wicked eyes and long nose hairs? I now pronounce you ogre and princess. May you scare forevermore. And they lived horribly ever after. I hate weddings. Is that cookie?